Okay, it's two weeks later, and you're probably asking, how is the CyberPower PC running? I know I said I'd be uh, making a video after a week, but life kind of got in the way. You know how that goes. I don't really want to focus so much on PC gaming as a whole or in general in this video. Granted, I will be talking here and there about it, but I kind of want to focus on the build. For those casual gamers out there looking to get into PC gaming, looking to buy a computer from CyberPower, wondering how it is. CyberPower always struck me as kind of a cheap brand. I'm thinking that's why I didn't go with it the first time and I decided to build one. Um, but, I mean, if you think about it, all the parts in my PC are name brands with the exception of the chintzy-ass power supply and the RAM. But the RAM got good reviews. Uh, the power supply, you can't even Google it, so it's some aftermarket foreign dog shit god knows where it's from <clears throat> i contacted cyber power about the uh the power supply um they said send it back and they'll send me another one send the power supply back and they'll send me the one i ordered i sent them a, they didn't apologize or nothing like that so i the, i had to send them pictures um so i sent a message back saying i didn't have you build me a pc so I could take it apart and then put it back together again and be without it for two weeks. Just refund me the money. So then they said they'd be happy to refund my money and just call them and they'll sort it out. I haven't called them yet. It's $17. Not exactly something that I'm, you know, in a big rush to get done. You know, big deal, 17 bucks. I'll probably do it on Monday and Tuesday. But anyways, I'm rambling here. How's the build? Everything's running perfect. Two weeks in the making. Everything has run flawlessly i've had software issues but that's in no way cyber power's fault um the hardware is is held up real nice i've downloaded msi afterburner that monitors your gpu temps i downloaded core temp that that monitors your uh, processor's temperature everything has stayed real good my gpu stays between 50 and 60 degrees my uh processor is even cooler at like 30 to 40 degrees I've played gaming sessions with Black Bond up to about three hours at a time. I, I didn't. I don't think I played with Bond for three hours. I think it was more like two. But I've played for three-hour sessions late at night, and the fans never get high. Everything stays whisper quiet. So, so far, the first two weeks, that's the answer to your question. I've been real pleased with this build. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with uh, Cyber Power. I haven't done anything to the PC. I didn't tighten any screws. I didn't go in and do anything. All you saw was my dad move the uh, aftermarket cooler fan that came with the processor, and you saw that in the video. Other than that, I haven't touched this thing. Everything runs perfectly. So as of right now, I'm, I'm happy with the build. So if that's all you were wanting to know, you can go ahead and click off the video. I'm going to go into uh, some uh, software issues that I've had. It's, uh, again, this isn't has nothing to do with the build. This is just the software issues for anybody that's curious. Um, what you're looking at here is Max Payne 3. I'm sure you already freaking know that, moron. And this game looks... I can't even believe how good this game looks on PC. You're probably looking on YouTube going, eh, it looks decent at best. Yeah, you're right. There's a thing, it's called NVIDIA GeForce Experience. It comes with the NVIDIA cards. My dad has a 560 Ti, and he can't download the GeForce Experience. So it's a certain card and up. My card comes with it. Um, it's got shadow play, and it records gameplay. And the gameplay... When I click on the video of the actual recorded clip, it looks phenomenal. It almost looks as good as the game. Uh, it, it's 60 frames. It's 1080p. It, it looks it looks real nice, but Windows Movie Maker destroys the quality. So what you're looking at on this YouTube video is nowhere near the quality I'm seeing on my PC when I play it. But this game just looks so sharp. So sharp. It's so nice. Forgot how good everything looked i got news man next generation started three four years ago maybe longer because all these old ass games look just as good if not better than anything on the damn so-called next gen consoles but that aside uh i've had uh, shadow play crash my games twice 
Uh, it runs smooth for the most part, but it has crashed some games. I get restart, restart the game, no big deal. Uh, I tried to play Mafia 2. There were some problems with the PhysX installation. Uh, I already had the car. I already had the update for PhysX. I had to go in my uh, programs, click on repair, then it ran. Um, core temp crashed my computer twice. I don't know why. Um, I uninstalled that. Haven't had a problem since. Um, you know, just little bullshit issues. My biggest gripe, my biggest complaint is games for Windows Live. I got some games uh, on Origin. I got some games on Steam that are ran by games for Windows Live. And what a shit service because these games either A, won't play, or B, I can't save my game data. Or I can't, yeah, I can't save my games. So what, what's even the point? It won't let me sign in. I can go to the website and sign in, but the actual app that runs the game, I can't sign in. So it's it's pretty much I got like I got bricked games. It's not really that big of a deal because the games that I do got that are ran by games for Windows Live aren't really that great to begin with. So it's really whatever. But that's my biggest complaint, and that's pretty much it. It's it's been real small issues, and the, these past two weeks I've had more fun playing on this PC than I think I've had in the entire time playing. Uh, these next generation consoles, and uh, I do want to say for the record, I said there were no must owns for the for the next gen consoles. I do think Forza Five and Forza Horizon uh, Two are must owns. So those games are pretty damn spectacular. But short of that, short of that on on PS4 and the Xbox One, there's really nothing. If you got an Xbox One, I'd pick up uh, Sunset Overdrive because it's different and it's fun. But short of that, but um. Somebody said, why would you play these old-ass games? You got a PC, a brand new PC. Why are you playing these old... I got news for you. When you play Battlefield 3 at 1080p, 100 frames, it's, you know, it plays so smooth and looks so damn good. You can't even compare it to the 360 version. It's not even comparable. But that's another video for another time, another place. Oh, and by the way, these little maps have 64 players, Team Deathmatch. It's crazy.